Hello guys and welcome. Today we're going to see how to make a bookstore website using Shopify. Now be sure to check the link in the description for a 3 days free trial and also a $1 for 1 month one time deal. So without further ado, let's get going. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go over here on the top left to products and we're going to click here on add product. As you can see here we have a lot of blank spaces that we are going to fill with our products information. Uh, for starters, for the title we're going to put for example a Harry Potter collection and uh, here you can see in the description we have two options we can either use the built-in ai of shopify to make a description or we can use our uh, ai of choice to make our own description for example i'm going to use ChatGPT, which is my ai of choice now i have uh, my description ready so i'm just going to paste it here and as you can see I have my re uh, description ready. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go over here to the media settings and we're going to click here on upload new. And what we're going to do here is going to click on the image of our product and as you can see the image is going to appear right over here. Now below the image is going to be a category section which is going to be uh, automatically choose by Shopify and we can change it if we so like if we click over here. Now if, if we keep going down you can see here that we have the pricing section for example we are going to put that is going to cost around $900 and we, here we also have a cost per item section uh, for example let's say that each book is costing us $700 so we would have a $200 profit per book and a 22.2% margin of profit. Here we have the inventory section. Uh, I'm just going to uncheck this because I'm not going to keep track of inventory. And if we are going to do any kind of shipping, we can also add a weight for each of the products. I'm just going to skip this as well. And the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to go over here on the top right and we are going to click here uh, on collections and we're going to add this to our home page. Here we can uh, we also have the option to add a product type, vendor and tags for our own product. So once we have added all of that we're going to go over here on the save button and as you can see here we have our first product uploaded. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here on add product and I'm going to keep adding all of the products from my store. So I'll be back when I finish doing that. Now, as you can see, I have added uh, three more products. I'm going to have my Shadow Hunters collection, a Percy Jackson collection, a Maze Runner collection, and the first product that I added, which is my Harry Potter collection. So, once we have done that, we are going to go over here to Online Store. And what we are going to do is we are going to customize our website. Now, the first thing that you can do is uh, to change the theme of the website. Now, if you go here, uh, we have a couple of free themes to use for our website. And if we go here, uh, you see it's going to redirect us to the Shopify theme shop. Now, here there are a lot of different themes that uh, can better suit our website. But for me, I'm just going to stick with the default one. So uh, back here I'm going to click here on customize and here we're going to have different sections to customize. You see that if I click here these things outlined by a blue line are going to be called sections. And as I click it here on the right there are going to appear multiple options for me to customize my sections. For example here is the image banner which I'm going to change by selecting an image to be displayed over here. So I'm going to, cl to click here on select image, I'm going to click here on add images and I'm going to select the image that I want to be displayed on my banner. Once it's done uploading I'm going to go I'm going to click here on done and as you can see the background for our banner has changed. Now there are a lot of other options that we can play with to customize our banner so feel free to play with them. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to click here on our heading and I'm going to change the text on the heading over here on the right. So I'm going to put for example welcome to my bookstore. And as you can see, the text here has changed. Now, let's say that we want to add a new section to our website. What we're going to do is we're going to click here on the template 
they're going to click on add section and as you can see they're going to pop a lot of different uh, options for us we have featured collections uh, featured products and collections lists and a lot of uh, more other options what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on featured product and as you can see here on the bottom a new uh, a new section has appeared so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click it so I can customize it and here on the top there's going to be a product section which is going to allow me to put one of my products here to be displayed so I'm going to click here select product and I'm going to choose for example my Percy Jackson collection and as you can see here it is being displayed now let's say that I want to change it a little bit I'm going to change for example the color scheme and I want it to have a dark background I'm going to click over here and now as you can see the background has changed to a darker color now let's say that we have added a section that we do not want for example we added a featured collection as you can see this uh, section is going to appear right over here and uh, if we want to delete it what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to remove section we're going to click it and as you can see this section has been removed if we go back here to the left we can see that we have a footer and also a header uh, and we can also add sections to those as well as you can see if I click here on my header I can add a announcement bar or a custom liquid if I know how to code between other things now uh, one thing you may notice about our header is that here it says my store now if we want to change the name of our store so this so that it's going to be displayed differently here what we're going to do is we're going to click here on save we're going to go back to the home page of Shopify and we're going to click here on name your store we're going to click here and we're going to choose a name for our store for example I'm going to book a bookstore I'm going to save our changes and if we go back here on our online shop I'm going to click on customize again you can see that the name has changed on our header if we want to check that everything is ok we're going to click here on the three buttons and we're going to click on preview this is, this is going to redirect us to our website and here we can check that is everything is to our liking now what we're going to do is we're going to check a very important section of Shopify's now we're going to click on analytics and marketing here we're going to have a lot of different information such as our total sales our total orders our average order value between a lot of other things uh, this is going to really help us to customize and manage our website all from the same place and it's going to be really helpful helpful to keep track of all of us or of all of our sales and lastly another very important uh, aspect that we can uh, manage is going to be the discounts section right over here we're going to click on add discount I'm going to choose amount of products and here we can make customizable discounts to share in social media or for our friends or whoever we would like to give a discount to now for example we can click here on generate random code and Shopify is going to provide us with a random generated uh, code or if we want we can just create one of our own for example I'm going to click book I'm going to put bookstore 101 and that would be my discount now here I can uh, change which kind of discount it's going to be for example I'm going to choose a percentage discount and it's going to be a 10% amount right below it I'm going to choose to which sections the discount is going to apply to so I can click here on browse and I'm going to choose my home page right over now this discount would apply to all the products on my home page if we keep going down we have the, uh, a lot of different options such as if we need a minimum purchase for the discount to be eligible uh, the eligibility of the customers a maximum discount uses combinations and if we want the discount to uh, expire at any day for example I'm going to click here and where I'm going to set an end date for our discount let's say for example a week so once we are done customizing our discount we are going to click here on save discount and we would have our first discount ready to share on 
Now I hope you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to check the link in the description for a 3 days free trial of Shopify and also a 1 month for $1 one time deal. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell and I'll see you guys next time.